Rock and roll Olivia here with my friend Gary Miller, the CEO, founder and CEO uh, of, yeah, exactly. yep, at the of, moment, yeah. Yeah, at the moment <laughs> of Rock Against Trafficking. Hi, Gary. Hello, Olivia. Thank you for having me here. I really appreciate it as always. Of course, of yeah. course. <laughs> I love you, Gary. You know, you're, you're uh, one of the people in the world that's very instrumental in trying to alleviate trafficking, human trafficking, right? This is what it's about. Well, I just thought it'd be good with doing something with music, you know, because it's a well, you know, it's, it's like a universal language. So rather than just do the, like a what, like a one song, like everybody's done, we are the world, or do you know, think it's Christmas? I want to create a great, a bit of movement. So, um, so the first, the first album's finished now, and it's, um, it's coming out on Sony in April. So got That's to, amazing. Got to deal with Sony eventually, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, it's, it's going very, very well, and we've got the event on the tenth. We've got, in fact, we've got one on Sunday in Westlake, okay. but we've also got the the major Grammy party on the tenth of February at the Avalon. Oh, is a is a public welcome to that, or and how much is it to uh, become a part of? That? I mean, I like to do things. It's free. I'd like to do it where it's a it's a free event, but for people to to from their own hearts. Just donate something, even if it's $50, $100, so that we can, you know, do what we do, basically. Right. Yeah, so. so. But the album's not going to be ready till after the Grammys. Well, the al I mean, the album's ready now. I mean, it's finished, mixed and mastered, but obviously we've got to go with Sony, the schedule and everything like that. And we've had two singles now without a record company, Glenn Hughes at number seven in the charts and Journey at number 27 in the charts without and, a record company. And what you're doing, and I just want to refresh the people out there that are listeners, and, and viewers to know that you're you have a compilation record it's uh, a whole slew of a-list artists that are recording one song by the police or sting yeah, right the police or sting yeah you're one of them and, the, and isn't the subtitle called set them free which is it which is which is, a, which is a sting song from one of his solo albums and i just thought it was really fitting to use well apart from that stings the one a wonderful songwriter and singer and everything and most people have got a favourite Sting or the Police song, which is why I chose, apart from being a fan myself, that's why I chose the Police, because I knew a lot of artists. It's, it's easy for me to say to any of the artists, um, just tell me your favourite Sting or Police song. And, and because Sting's done rock, pop, reggae, right. classical, um, everything, it, it just leaves a wide range of, of material to, to dig, it, dig into. Yeah. The interesting about Sting, the interesting thing about Sting is that a lot of his music is talks about just the topic of trafficking, and it just fits right well, in well, there. The, well, the thing is, is I mean, is Sting's the most prolific lyricist as well, apart from anything else. So yeah, and, and, and everything that he writes is very thought about, and I mean, he's, I've, I'm, I've always been a big fan. I've worked with him in the studio and on TV before, and um, so I just thought it was a good fit. And it's and it works really well, you know. The production has. So you have like like, like you said, a single has already been been released. Excuse me, by Glenn Hughes. And I went to I saw the Journey concerts. That before Journey gets on stage, it does their performance. They must be really cool people, the supporters, because they play the song that they recorded on your record to open their their yeah, that, segment of their concerts. Which was really good because I'd been doing the record a while with Neil, with Neil Sean and Arnell. And then I finished it, and then wanted to, it was above all the screens. It's been at Madison Square Gardens, so it's created even that created a big awareness, you know, that human trafficking is going on. But I started this six years ago, and not one person had even heard about human trafficking. Not, I mean, not one, even, uh, even the police. Uh, me too. No, uh, you got it. But now it's become really, really relevant now, which I knew it would do because it was just, it's like a, it's the second biggest industry against against the drug trade. So, it is, it's and, pretty and much. And I know some horrific stories. What I'm, the thing is, what happens to children is just, it's, um, I mean, I won't even talk to it about it. It's just horrific, everything. So yeah. we've got to do something about it, really. There's people being bought and sold. I mean, I've, I'm learning a lot about the evils in the world that I can't hardly, I can hardly believe are real, but they are. Well, they are, basically. When they've, when they've tortured and abused these young girls, then um, when they're no good to anybody else, They'll sell their organs, you know, and think, I mean, it's just like, it's, it's ridiculous. It's the, it's the most insane thing I've ever seen in my, and I heard about in my life, really. Totally horrifying. So, so we really applaud what you're doing. I'm behind you on all of it. We'll be at the Grammys event with you. It's on February 10th? February the 10th at the Avalon. Okay. 
So everybody come and see us and help human trafficking. Well, help fight human trafficking, not help human trafficking. Right. I mean. If you show up and donate to Gary Miller and Rock Against Trafficking, you'll get to experience a lot of um, Hollywood and how they help fight tra human trafficking and have a great experience on red carpets and meet wonderful people and mingle and have a Grammy experience on top of it. Wonderful. Yeah, that definitely. Yeah, we'll have it. And that's the thing about this is to have good fun while we're supporting a, a cause rather than it being one of these dour sort of like events. We want to make it entertaining. That's, you know, so even if you don't, even if you don't want to support human traffic, if you don't want to fight against it, just coming to the concert and doing things, you're already helping, really. So I can't wait to see who your artists are lined up for that night. It's going to be fun. There's a few big ones coming, so get yourself there. I'll be there. Okay, thanks a lot, Gary Miller. Thank you. Thank you very much. Rock right. against trafficking.